a low sewer back in this time we have a different kind of uh, repair now let's check the customer email first so the customer is saying uh, i have a pcb for a car diagnostic tools that need one of the microcontroller replaced i have the replacement part and he said he will drop on the computer shop which is uh, near here also he attached a picture and this is the picture the customer sent it and I was looking, I mean, yeah, it's nothing, you know, it's like, you have like a chip, like a easy chip, like a laptop easy chip, a board. It's not a big deal, right? Now, just to understand, because I don't think I've seen, check here. I don't think I've seen this kind of stuff before, like a chip that big. Check that. You, you can see how, how big is that chip? What is that? I mean, this is proper big, proper big. I'm not even sure how I can replace something like that. I mean, the customer gave me the chip, but hopefully uh, he knows what he's doing because most likely this chip has to be pre-programmed. But in any case, the chip is very big and you can see the pins are very close. So yeah, that's what uh, we have to do today. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is coming with like, uh, with no nozzle, but even without the nozzle, it, this, is, this is like a chipset. It's even bigger than a chipset. Yeah. On the other side of the board, we have nothing. We can try with the heat from the back. But it's kind of pointless, right? Because this ship is burned anyway. So heat from the top, we are taking the chip out with a special tweezer. You remember my EC chip tweezer? Huh? Something like this. Huh? So we can take the chip out, then apply some solder, 180 degree solder, no, 140. We can go with 140. Well, 180 should be fine. Then we are uh, coming with hot air with small nozzle on the pins only. So what do you think? Because the pins are very close and we can do mistakes if I'm coming with a solder iron. So I think this is the best. So I'm going to use max uh, temperature, 480 degrees. Let's take the chip out. I mean, I can't even go under the microscope because the chip is too big. Wait, actually, I can kind of go under the microscope like that. Yeah. For some reason, the the Capton foil is getting burned. Or it's not Capton. It's something else. Okay, let's try to get the chip out. Huh? The chip position. Chip position is like that, okay. And the chip is out. Unbelievable. Ha. Yeah, we took the chip out. Now, I didn't expect actually this to melt, so I don't believe it's a cupped on tape, I, I believe it's just a plastic thingy. No, definitely it's not a cupped on tape. Okay, the foil is out. Solder iron, 180 degree solder wire. Yeah, a lot of pads. So let's try to mix the solder with the original one.
Perfect. So what do you think? The solder is sorted? Mm -hmm. I'll try to take this solder out. Good. Yeah, I have to come with some uh, Rossi. Perfect. No rosin. A lot of rosin. We need rosin just to be sure we don't have bridges when we are soldering the the chip back. Now we need a new chip. So this is the new chip. And the chip position should be like this. Yeah. We have to be careful because uh, we don't know much about this chip. There are chips they are getting burned at even lower temperature, like 350. Yeah. So I'm going to lower the temperature to 380. I'm going to hold the chip down. I'm twisting the, the chip on the position. For me, it looks fine. No, actually, no. Mm -hmm. Like that. And now, let's try to solder the chip. Good. Only this side at the moment. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Looking good, right? And in this way, we are uh, sure we are not burning the chip. So what do you think? We have to be sure every pin is soldered on place. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, okay, the pins are no soldered on place. So let's focus. Yeah, let me hire the temperature. Four twenty. Hopefully, this one is fine. We have a lot of rose in there, which is good.
and this one and this is the last one hmm? so what do you think looking good right okay let's clean it it's very easy to take the rosin out with uh, with alcohol and the chip so it looks like new or not your opinion Yeah, we do have to check every pin to be sold. Be sure it's sold. Uh. Mm. If you know what tool it is, just uh, leave me a comment, please. Some car diagnostic tool, but which model? Now everything is sold on place. <gasps> what is this? What is this pin here? Yeah, yeah every other pin is sold, but not this one. That one is a prick, yeah. Perfect. So we are counting. At the moment, it's only one pin which was not sold properly. <gasps> this pin is not sold. Uh, this one is not sold. Lord. This one is not sold. I mean, how that happened? Yeah. Let me use some rosin. Let me clean it again because we have to be sure there are no bridges. This one is moving. This one is moving. Yeah, because we are using the solder iron, it's not looking anymore like factory. And this side. We checked every pin, we checked every pin. So how is it? How is it looking for you? Hmm? 
nearly like factory, right? Yeah. So I believe this is the right way to replace a chip this size. Now we have to put the Captain tape back. Maybe over this chip is coming some kind of like heat sink. Good. So it's back like how it was before. So I'm gonna stop here. Hopefully this video it will be helpful for you if you have like big chips to replace like this one. Oh. Proper big. Probably bigger than a chipset, right? Kind of the size of a chipset. Here it was a chipset. Or a small GPU. Or like nearly a CPU. Well, yeah. So, uh, see you on the next one. Bye.